Then the next point is the copy duplicate. This field is not there. This element is not there in empty message. Let me tell you what is this copy duplicate. I'll use my Excel sheet to explain that concept. So, so let's assume that there is a company called Ford Motors. Ford Motors has an account with, let's say, Citibank USA. This is Ford account. Okay. Ford also has tied up with another entity called, let's say, Bank of America. Bank of America is going to provide reconciliation services. I have already explained what that concept of reconciliation service would mean. Reconciliation service would mean that Ford will provide Bank of America with all the payment details. Citibank will then send the statement and Ford will find out whether all the instructions given by Ford have been executed correctly and accounted for correctly by Citibank. So what is the account owner going to do? This is the account owner, Ford. There is an understanding between Ford and Citi that whenever Ford is sent the statement of account by Citi, a copy of that will always be sent to Bank of America for the purposes of reconciliation. So every, every day at the end of the day, a CAMT53 is created by Citi and the CAMT53 is sent by Citi to Ford. This is EOD statement. This is what I will call for our purposes as original. There is no code in the CAMT53 or in that field which we are seeing here in copy duplicate calling original. Okay. So the original gets sent by Citi to Ford and simultaneously Citi is also told by Ford to send a copy of that message to Bank of America using which Bank of America will carry out the reconciliation. This will be marked by Citi as the copy. This is scenario number one. Copy has been sent and let's assume that this was done on 5th of Feb. Okay. Now it's possible that Ford has lost the original which it received on 5th of Feb. So Ford will request City by using a CAMT60. This is a request message. Can you send me a duplicate? This is the request going to City. City then creates the duplicate of this CAMT53. And maybe this is done on 6th of Feb. That I want the duplicate. On 6th of Feb, the duplicate is sent. This then will be marked as the duplicate in the element 10, copy duplicate. This is the duplicate. So original will have a duplicate. The problem here is faced by Ford and therefore it asks for the duplicate. Similar problem can be faced by Bank of America. Now let's say on 6th of Feb again, Bank of America also lost that copy. It wants a duplicate of that copy. So it will now make a request to Citi. Please send me a copy of this statement. Please give me a duplicate of the copy which you had sent to me. Then on 6th of Feb, Citibank will send the duplicate, but this duplicate is not of the original. The duplicate is of the copy. So if the duplicate is of the copy, it will have the wording Kodu. So there are three types of duplicates and copies. First is duplicate, first is copy. Copy is always of the original sent by city in this example to Bofa. Duplicate is the duplicate of the original sent by city to Ford and Kodu is the duplicate of the copy sent by city to Bofa. These are the three codes, the UPL, copy, and the code which you get here. Now, do you have any questions on this? Is this only for CAMT messages that we use? It's not for CAMT. I've used CAMT as an example. Okay. okay. So these are the, now let's go to the next tag 11. Tag 11 is possible duplicates. Now in empty category, you'll have two tags. One is the PDE, possible duplicate emission. This come in the trailer part of your message. That is block five of your empty possible duplicate emission and possible duplicate message. Now, when you upload a message into Swift system and let's say you're a bank, you're a bank called Citibank. You uploaded a message into Swift system and you're expecting an ACK or a NAC. 
you don't receive an acoronic within the given time. Usual time is 15 minutes. So your system will repeat this message, send that message again, but in trailer block now, trailer block, that is trailer block five, we add in the trailer block five, we add the tag PDE. So when the receiving bank receives this message, it knows that this is possibly a duplicate. They go back into their systems and check whether they really received the original one. If yes, ignore the second one. If not, process the second one. So PDE is added by the sending bank. Now let's look at the second scenario. You have already sent the message to Swift. Swift is now trying to download it into the systems on the receiving side. And what Swift is expecting from the receiving side is the user positive acknowledgement or the user negative acknowledgement. This concept is what we have discussed yesterday when we talked about that uh, concept of the notification, delivery notification. So what Swift is expecting from the receiving bank, either a user positive acknowledgement, the UAC, or the user negative acknowledgement that they are not able to understand the message. If Swift does not receive such a UAC or a UNAC from the receiving bank, then it will download that message again. When they repeat that, Swift will add Swift will add in the trailer block five, the tag PDM. So this is how the duplicates are informed. Possible duplicates are informed by the originating bank using the PDE, by Swift, by using the PDM, which is what you put in trailer block five in empty message is what we put in block 11 here. Message building block 11 here. That's your possible duplicate. This will be a Boolean tag, yes or no. If it is duplicate, say true. If it is not duplicate, say false. That's how you have the indicator.